rapid response can make all the difference when fighting fires on a flight deck. That's why, when disaster strikes on board a ship, the P-25 mobile firefighting vehicle must be ready for action. They're a first response system, so if there's a fire on the deck of the truck, this piece of equipment is the first one to respond to it so they can start knocking down the fire and, and whatever to allow the rest of the fire crew on the ship to get their stuff out and battle the fire. The P-25 is a scaled down version of a fire truck specifically designed for an aircraft carrier environment. The small unit can easily maneuver around the flight deck carrying 750 gallons of water and foam to battle a blaze. Typically dealing flight ops is two, two on the flight deck at all times. One is typically forward on the deck and one's aft. The P-25, for instance, it's a very critical piece of equipment. They can't do flight ops on an aircraft carrier unless they have a working P-25. If the P-25 is down on the aircraft carrier, all flight ops stop. They can't fly in the aircraft carrier. The P-25 has served the fleet for nearly 20 years. Now the Navy is hoping to extend that service life by replacing the existing engine with one that meets current environmental standards. The trucks will come here to the Fleet Readiness Center Support Equipment Facility in Solomons Island, Maryland for conversion. We're taking out the existing engine and upgrading it to a new, more electronically controlled engine. We're doing it because the old engine is obsolete. You can't maintain it any longer. It's hard to find uh, components. And we just be this easier just to replace the engine so it will be uh, in service longer. In addition to installing a new engine, technicians will replace the fire vehicle's pumps, gauges, and dashboard. When they come in, they come in like this. They take everything off, everything, right down to the frame, which is basically just the rails, everything mounts on in the tank, and they'll send it out. They grit blast it, they refinish the inside of the tank, they paint the outside of the thing, and now as they start reassembling it, instead of putting the old engine back on, they put the new one from the, from the kit on it. So. Basically, the 100% kit is built up of items that we order 100% of the time when we bring a fire truck or any piece of support equipment in the rework. These are the items that some of them are long lead time items that we want to try to get in as soon as we can so that once the fire truck is painted, blasted, painted, and starts to go back together, all these parts are there for the mechanic. The pre-designed kit ensures that the work can begin on each P-25 as soon as it arrives at the FRC. Having the parts available ahead of time allows the team to modify and return each truck to the fleet in 90 days. We save the Navy time and money. We don't have to procure a whole new fire truck and it's a lot uh, less expensive. We just uh, revamp the one again. 65 trucks will pass through the FRC for modification over the next four years. It's a strenuous task, but considering the critical role of the P-25, an important one. It's a thrill to be able to support the warfighter out there, to give them a good piece of equipment, you know, to work with, you know, knowing that they're relying on the ground support equipment that we put out, you know, to make their job a whole lot easier.